Biodiversity is the basis of our lives. We are part of biodiversity. It's critical for our health, it's critical for environmental health, it's a part of our diets, it's the beauty of the landscapes that we look at, and it allows the systems in which we live to be resilient and buffer against challenges and, and changes like, for example, climate change. When you speak about zero hunger, we are speaking about sustainable production and healthy diets. And there, biodiversity, particularly the genetic resources, that means the crop varieties, the livestock breeds, the varieties of fish that we use in capture fisheries or in aquaculture, this diversity is the basis of this food security. And that's also the material that we use for selecting better adapted, more higher performing um, species and varieties that we will need for the future. And um, which the people at all levels, from the local farmers and indigenous people to the high industrial breeding companies, they all use this biodiversity to improve food systems and to increase and make food production more resilient and more stable. Mainstreaming means um, integrating biodiversity in all considerations from the practices to the policy level in agricultural sectors. And so, so far this has not fully happened because there is still a little bit of old thinking that with more external inputs, pesticides, fertilizers and so on, we can reach our goal of food security. But this only goes to a certain point and then you still need to maintain these ecosystem services and, and resilience on which the systems depend upon. Um, to increase this knowledge and this awareness at all levels and in all stakeholder groups, from the consumers to the pr private sector, from the NGOs to governments, that is the process of biodiversity mainstreaming that we are aiming at.